In this video, I'm going to walk you through the hands-on challenge for data security, control access to fields. The challenge is create a profile and permission set to handle field access. So two things, profile and permission set. Here we go. Sales team members have most of the same object and field permissions in the standard user profile. Okay, so most of the time they could do the same stuff. But your company wants to make sure that the sales team members don't delete certain records and only senior sales members have access to certain fields. Okay, so the important information there was they can't delete certain records and senior sales members have access to certain fields. So if your brains have gone through this unit already, you're hopefully thinking, okay, well, I can control access to the fields for everybody and I could create a permission set just for the senior sales folks. And that's what we're gonna do. For this channel, challenge use both profiles and permission sets to control object level permissions. Now, this is a thing that's a little bit confusing to get your head around until you get your head around it and then it's no longer confusing. But in the meantime, it is, right? You have access to the org, access to objects, op and then access to fields. And those are all like different levels of access. And this is why Salesforce is complicated and also very useful because you could configure it to give exactly what you need for everybody. So here we're gonna do profiles and permission sets to control object level permissions. Make sure that all sales teams can create, edit and view accounts and contacts, but not delete them. Then make sure that most sales members can't see or edit the rating field on accounts, but some senior sales members can. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clone the standard user profile. We're then gonna control access to the profile. And then we're gonna create a new permission set. And then we're gonna control access for that permission set. So remember creating a permission set, it's sort of like creating just uh, the body of a car and like, what it actually does is nothing until you put something in it. And so that's why we're gonna first create a new permission set and then control access for that rating permission set that we're gonna create. Alrighty, deep breath, let's get to it. Control the standard user profile. So we're gonna to go to the existing profile standard user and we're gonna name it sales. So we're gonna to go to profiles. What did I just say? Standard user. And we're gonna clone the standard user and we're gonna name it sales. Click save. Step one done. Now we're gonna control access for the sales profile. So we're gonna make sure that the object permissions, so let's click edit and then make our way down to the objects. Okay. The object permissions are for accounts, read, create, and edit. Accounts, read, create, edit. Let's remove delete. And contacts is read, create, and edit. Read, create, edit, and then we're gonna remove delete. Okay, fine. Okay, at this point we are gonna click save. The next thing we have to do is field permissions, the rating field on the account object. So we're going to go to the object manager, account, fields and relationships, and then make our way down to, there it is, rating. And then we're gonna click edit. And then we're going to click set field level security. Now what we're looking at here is the field level security for the rating field on the account object. And we're going to go down to looking at each profile here. We're going to go down to our sales profile. This is ours and we do not want this to be visible. So we're going to turn that off. Visible read only. Sales should not be visible, right? Rating field account object, no access. 
That's what that means. It's not visible. All other permissions from the standard user profile remain as is. We should then be able to click save on this in deep sigh. We're done with that step. And now we're gonna create the permission set. So we're gonna go back over to our home. We're gonna type in permission sets. We're gonna create a new permission set and we're gonna name it the rating permission set. New label name and you, you don't have to do this but like if you think about it this is the we're naming giving you the same name because this is the permission set that's going to open up access on the rating field on the account object okay so now you don't have to put in a description there i'm just putting it in there so like we get our brains thinking about this and so we're not just clawing away at our computers. And the user license here is um, Salesforce. So let's do that. There it is. It's conveniently not alphabetized. And then click Save. At this point, we have created the permission set. It still has no object. We've just created that body of the car. It does nothing at the moment. Now we're in a control access for the rating permission set so th there's a couple of ways you could do this. You could go either from that box up here, the quick find, or we could go into the object settings. Uh, I sort of like doing it this way a little bit better because it keeps your brain logically, you know, sort of flowing. And then what we're looking here is we're gonna click on edit and go down to the rating field. And we're gonna make that have read access. Is it just read access? Uh, it's read access and edit access. So we're going to see on the rating field, read access and edit access and click save. And now we have told this uh, permission set what logic it has and what it's supposed to do. Well, folks, I think we've done it. 